talk bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Like always, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Well, Bears fans, you guys already know this by now. The NFL Draft is almost two weeks away, and I am super pumped to see what the Chicago Bears actually do. So before I get started, who else is super pumped for this NFL draft? Let me know down below in the comment section. So as we near the NFL draft, the initial question that I want to ask to start out today's episode of Keek on the Mic is what should the Chicago Bears do in the second round of this year's draft? Obviously, by now, we all know that the Chicago Bears don't currently have a first round pick, but they do have two second round picks at pick number 39 and 48 overall. So what would you guys like to see the Chicago Bears do in the second round of the NFL draft? So we can go ahead and answer that question down below. But the real thing I want to talk about today on Kick on the Mic is for the last couple of weeks, uh, I have seen Bears fans all over social media debating on what the Chicago Bears actually should do in the second round of this year's NFL draft. I've been hearing a lot of Bears saying they should trade up. Some Bears fans are saying they should trade down. And there's even some Bears fans that are saying that we should just stay just stay put. Don't do anything at all. So I wanted to I want to end this debate right here on Keek on the Mic on today's pod podcast and just talk about the pros and cons of each scenario that could possibly happen of trading up, trading down, or staying put. And like always, as I go through this through these scenarios, feel free to comment down below in the comment section. And and let's have a little debate and let's try to have some fun with this. But at the same time, let's try to be respectful as well. And I can't wait to hear your guys' comments as I read them later. So the first option, the first scenario that Ryan Poles can consider doing uh, with those two second round picks is trading up. And yes, I know there's been a lot of Bears fans saying that they could possibly trade up, but it's very minimal. Not a lot of Bears fans are in agreement uh, to have Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears actually trade up in the first round. But it's also always a possibility that this scenario could actually happen, knowing that the Chicago Bears do have those two second round picks to kind of play with. But the pro to trading up is that you will actually get the player that you want. And I know this is a very deep NFL draft in terms of the what the Chicago Bears actually need in terms of receiver, offensive line, cornerback. It's very deep in those different positions. But if the Chicago Bears actually decide to trade up, you are guaranteed to get the player that you want. For example, if you really want Chris Olave from Ohio State, go and get him. You know, and I know that's going to be an unpopular opinion. Not a lot of Bears fans are saying, a lot of Bears fans are saying, actually, no, don't do it. Don't do it, Ryan Poles. Don't pull a Ryan Pace. Stay put or trade down. But if you really have that itch that Chris Olave is the guy that you want and he drops to a position that you like, go ahead. Be aggressive. And and personally, I'm not all for trading up, but if I guess the deal is right and you can get the player that you want, a.k.a. Chris Olave, I always have to sit back and just, I guess, deal with it because at the end of the day, I am just a fan. The con to trading up, obviously, with only six total picks in this year's draft, you really don't have the resources to trade up. Yes, we have those two second-round picks, but the trade up into the first round, most logical teams will ask not only for number 39, 48, but probably a next year's first. And knowing what Ryan Pohl's plan is, building through the draft, I'm not sure if he's willing to give up that draft capital. Because if you trade up, and, and let's say now you only have, what, four picks left in this year's draft? How are you supposed to build through the draft with four picks, just having a third, uh, two fives, and a six? That's that's going to be really tough for Ryan Poles in terms of what he wants to do as a Chicago Bears GM, which is building through the draft. So overall, I truly feel like it's unlikely that Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears will trade up. It would really surprise me. Uh, if they do. And if they do trade up, I think the only player that I can see them targeting is wide receiver Chris Olave. Obviously, we don't need to go deep in detail. Obviously, the connection between Olave um, and Justin Fields is probably the only reason uh, 
why Ryan Poles would actually make that move for the Chicago Bears, but I definitely don't see the Chicago Bears trading up in this year's draft. Scenario number two, trading down, and this is uh, what a lot of Bears fans are saying that we should do uh, in this year's NFL draft, and I think a lot of Bears fans assume that this is what Ryan Poles is going to do as well. Obviously, the pro to trading down is, once again, with only six picks, trading down from either of those second-round picks, either if it's 39, 48, or both, you can obviously land possibly a third, a fourth, and maybe even later round draft picks, maybe like an extra sixth or maybe an extra fifth. And obviously, when you look at it, the Chicago Bears don't have a fourth round pick. So obviously, adding some picks, stockpiling those picks uh, would be really a really good idea for Ryan Poles because once again, he is trying to build through the NFL draft to build the Chicago Bears roster up. And in order to do that, you need to be able to have draft picks. We only have six right now, so I can definitely see Ryan Poles trading back. To co- the con by trading down from any of those second round picks, by trading down, you take the risk of missing out on the guy that you want. For example, let's say at 39, the guys that could possibly be on the board, wide receiver George Pickens, wide receiver Jalen Tolbert, wide receiver Justin Ross, wide receiver Christian Watson, guard Dylan Parham, tackle Abraham Lucas. For example, if any of those guys are on the board at 39, which I expect that they will, and you trade down, you're taking the risk that you may not get the guy that you want, right? So that's always a risk that you take when you trade down. So if you're at 39 and the guy that you want is there, I can see Ryan Pohl saying, forget it. Let me just take the guy that I want. So you always take that risk by trading down. So Bears fans, I can definitely see Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears trading down to add more draft capital, especially, once again, when you have a GM that wants to build through the NFL draft, you need to have draft picks. So I could definitely see Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears trading down. The final scenario that the Chicago Bears can consider is just staying put. And obviously the pro is you wouldn't have to worry about missing out on the player that you want if you actually stay put. Once again, I just listed some names. If you want Christian Watson at 39, you go get Christian Watson. If you want Abraham Lucas at pick number 48, you go get Abraham Lucas. So you would definitely get the player that you want. The con to staying put, obviously, is if you stay put without trading, the Bears will pick at 39, 48, 71, and then they wouldn't pick again until pick 148, which is the fifth round. So overall, the Chicago Bears could definitely stay put and get their guys, right? I picked 39, 48, and 71. But I would be very surprised if the Chicago Bears did this. And and I've been reading a lot of the comments, uh, reading the people's mock drafts, you know, watching everybody, right? And a lot of Bears fans said, I would just stay put and get my guys. I would go get Christian Watson at 39. Go get uh, Abraham Lucas at 48. And then maybe get another receiver in David Bell at 71. I've been seeing a lot of Bears fans that are comfortable with staying put. But once again, once again, I'm going to sound like a broken record. When you have a GM in Ryan Poles that wants to build through the NFL draft, and I'm not saying that he can't nail on all six of these draft picks, but if if I can get into, inside Ryan Poles' head, I guarantee you that he is going to trade back with one of those second-round picks and maybe with that third-round pick to stock pile the draft pick so we can try to fill in these holes that the Chicago Bears currently have. So I know you guys are probably wondering, well, Keek, what would you do if you were in Ryan Pohl's shoes? Well, if I was in Ryan Pohl's shoes, if I was the Chicago Bears GM, I would definitely trade down in the second round and gain more draft capital. And what intrigues me about trading down is the possibility of adding extra third round pick, getting back into the fourth round, maybe adding an extra fifth and sixth, maybe even adding a seventh round pick. And there's many different ways that he will be able to do this. But the one question mark and the one caution I would warn Ryan Poles about is try not to trade down too far because then once again, you're going back to the con, right, of trading down is that you might miss out on the player you want. And and that's the one thing I want to say to Ryan Poles. If there is a player that you really want at 39, go ahead and take them. And I think that's the cool thing going in, into this NFL draft is that we have the flexibility of those two second round picks at 39 and 48. So I definitely expect Ryan Poles to either trade down from 39 
or 48 to get more draft capital because if I was in his shoes, that is what I would definitely do. And I just feel like it's the smartest option when you have a GM, once again, that is trying to build through the NFL draft. So let me ask you guys this one more time. If you were in Ryan Pohl's shoes, would you trade up? Would you trade down? Or would you just stay put in this year's NFL draft? Let's end this debate right here on Kicking the Mic. And once again, we are almost two weeks away um, until the first round of the NFL draft. And I am super pumped to see what Ryan Poles and the Chicago Bears do. But before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, I'll be back for our all-new Bears podcast right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and bear down. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe because I be on it right.